In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this carved wood mock-up effect where you can take a logo or a text object or any other vector path and make it appear as if it's been carved into a piece of wood. To follow along with what I'm doing, you'll need to download a copy of this wood texture. I'll have that linked in the description of the video, and I'll also link a copy of this design template here in case you want to download this and play around with it yourself. So once you open up the wood texture in a new document, you may have a layer lock applied. So click on that lock icon in the layers menu to get rid of the layer lock, and then click on the layer to select it, right click it, and go to duplicate. And now that we have a duplicate copy of the wood texture, let's apply the object that we would like to carve into the wood. Uh, for this depiction here, I use the logo, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to use the text object. So I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to click on the canvas, click and drag to draw some text. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to type in carved. Let me grab my selection tool and make this a little larger. And I'll place this right about here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to come over here to the color menu and I want to take the opacity of this color and bring it all the way down. We're going to need to do that because if there's a color applied with full opacity, it's going to show around the edges. It's going to take away from the effect. So bring down the opacity all the way. And now I'm going to take the second uh, wood texture that we copied and I'm going to click and drag it on top of the object layer so that it makes a clipping mask out of it. And you're not going to be able to see anything change on the screen here, but if you move the object, you can see that it's been made into a clipping mask. So let me put that back. And now I will apply a brightness contrast adjustment layer. So let me click on the adjustments icon down here, and I'm going to look for brightness and contrast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brightness and bring that down a little bit, and then I'll take the contrast and bring that up a little bit. We want the wood carving to look a little different on the inside just because of the way the lighting works with this sort of thing. It makes it, look, makes it look more realistic. So let me adjust this just a little bit. Don't worry if it's not perfect. You can go back and adjust this later. And now I can close out of that. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so I can see it better. And now we're going to apply some quick effects. So let me click on the layer to select it. I'll come over here to the quick effects tab. And the first one I'm going to apply is an inner shadow. So I'm going to click on the inner shadow box. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up. I'm going to set the angle straight down to 270. And I'm going to take the offset and move this down a little bit. And as I do that, you can see the shadow moving within the text there. So I'll move it down about that much. That's a pretty good offset. And now I'm going to blur the shadow. So I'll take the radius and I'll slide this over a little bit just to give that a little bit of a blur. And if you zoom out, you can already see the effect taking place. It already kind of looks like it's carved into the wood. And you may need to adjust the opacity a little bit depending on the uh, composition of the wood image you're using or uh, whatever other preference you have. I'm going to leave mine right about there. Maybe I'll bring that down a little bit and I'll bring that back in as well. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with those adjustments right there. What I'm going to do now is apply an outline to this. So let me minimize this quick effects. And let me come up here to the outline quick effects and check that box. And I'm going to click on this color stripe and I'm going to make the outline white. So let me make this white. And then I'm going to take the radius and bring this out ever so slightly. I want to create sort of like a little bevel on the edge of the uh, carving. Maybe a little thinner than that. Let me bring that down a little more. And now I'm going to change the blend mode of this. So let me click on the settings icon over here in the quick effects menu. And for blend mode, I'm going to choose soft light and then close out of the menu. And if you zoom out, you can see the effect has been applied. Now I'm going to go and make some adjustments here. I'm going to make the outline a little bit bigger. And that looks pretty good. And if you want, you can grab your text tool. If you did this with text anyway, you can now edit this. This is now editable text, just like that. So that's how you can go about creating this carved wood mock-up effect using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.